Okay guys, let me do a little video here. Um, I've ran my SLA, or my uh, SC5M, which is right here. I've ran it a couple times on the track. One you guys saw with my son and we got back uh, tonight from running it again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up this suspension a little bit, especially when it comes to the steering, and I'm going to oil my bearings. I'm going to do a little video, kind of show you guys what I do and, and different things that uh, you do. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take um, this is what they call the turnbuckle. This is the ball stud inside of here. These are really nice on Team Associated because as you guys can see, you can put them in here and you can take this off. I'm not going to take this one off. I'm going to take this one back here off. Kind of show you guys real quick. I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me break this whole thing down, but what you can do is you can just loosen it like that. without ever popping the ball stud off because if you keep and here's a good little tip for you guys if you constantly if you constantly pop these uh, ball cups off your ball studs right here all the time instead of screwing it out the top these will eventually wear out and they'll pop off if you bump the wall or anything when you're racing so that's just something to remember now I took, I've taken that off I use a little thing like this and I drop my screws in it. You see the nut for the other side of the ball stud? Just keeps me from dropping them all over the place. Now this will take me two seconds here. I'll kind of show you guys what I'm tightening up and what I'm doing. I saw this on uh, Short Course World, Jason Snyder's um, thing and I just never got around to doing it with mine. You guys should look up some of his videos. He's way more knowledgeable about this kind of stuff than I am. I'll show you guys what I'm doing here. Okay. It's going to come off. Okay, now. Okay, you guys can see that this is my front hub and this is my axle right here. If you look, you see that the insert inside there moving? Let me uh, try to point it out to you here. Okay, so this is the hub itself. If you look in this, you see this line right here. That's the, the insert. Now what I'm going to do, see it moving? All the play in that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out because these you can change to different Width. I've never ran anything other than the inserts that are in here. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to glue these in to where they don't move. To where all this play like this, see all that play, will be tighter. Still spin good. I'm also going to clean up my ceramic bearing so you can see. I'll get this taken apart. I won't make you guys watch it. All you do is you take this back hex head off right here obviously take it off and slide the axle out. There's a crush tube inside here. I'll show you guys that. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, so as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm taking this off. You could use a 17 millimeter hex, obviously, also, but All the white stuff you can see coming off the screw right there, that's the old Loctite. So boom, now, how this works is this slides out, like that. There's my titanium axle. There's my crush tube, there's my bearing. Super dirty. Push that one out. Okay, now here's where this gets, where we're starting to get a little, set those out of the way. I'm going to clean all these up too here in a second. So, what I was telling you guys about, is you got to kind of get in here, you got to push it out. Okay, this part right here is the insert. Now you can see that it's 
it's got the numbers written on it to where you can see so like I said I always run it like this so what I'm gonna do take a little super glue and put a little just a little bit not a lot around the outside right here just a little teeny bit put over little teeny bit right there and then I'm going to stuff this back in here like that kind of wipe the extra off keep it away from the hole okay so there's that one now we're going to do the other one Same thing, pop it out, a little super glue, pop it in, wipe the edges, okay. That's done. We'll let this sit and we'll let this dry. This is going to dry and this is going to cause it when I put my axle back in to not move around a whole bunch to get my... Now what that'll do is that'll make my turning a lot tighter. So now the next thing I've done is I've cleaned my axle off. I cleaned all... That's what it looked like. I've cleaned all my titanium axle off. My Exotech titanium axle. Next I'm going to clean my crush, my crush tube. I always, when I take stuff apart, I always clean it up really good. That's like the main thing, like whether I'm rebuilding shocks or I'm rebuilding a diff, um, you always want to make sure that you're cleaning everything up really nice and neat. I do it because I know that everything going back together is, is clean, is smooth. Okay, so that's cleaned up. Now the bearings. Let me show you guys how I do this. I'm going to back this camera off a little bit here. Okay, so what I do is I take this and these bearings, like I told you guys, I only run, I have one side open like this and I have the other side closed with the metal shroud because this is the least restricting. I want some protection on the bearing, but these face the inside. So what I've done, what I do is I put it on there. It's a magnet. I stick it on there like that. I take my bearing grease, my slip oil, because this oil is thinner so the bearing can move faster. Put a bunch in there. And what this bearing grease is going to do, whoops, kind of got some on the outside there. And I'm going to, now I make sure that the middle's not moving and only the outside is like this and I spin it. Get that bearing oil because it's liquidy and it's not as is hard it'll come through better now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set it on here and push and you see the the little ring and I'll do that a few times and that oil going through the bearing will like clean it out now if I'm really if I have like like my Trax truck like if it's just covered in dirt and I've ran it really hard like by the way I wouldn't run a Trax truck in the water you could run it in the water and you can clean the bearings up but spin this a little bit oh look how free that spins it's amazing I'm gonna put it on here push down let all the oil bleed through get it clean not all the oil but it'll stay really lubricated really well too so we don't have to do nothing too crazy now what I'm probably gonna do is get my toothbrush clean the dirt off on the outside of the metal so like you can see like a little little bitty specks of dirt on the other side of this and obviously I wouldn't use no metal bristles or anything like that kind of spin it a little bit But also, I said I clean everything, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run 
this through the middle of it. Pull this through. Try to clean it up. It's like I said, I'm a stickler about my bearings. Okay, I think that one's pretty good. Let's test it again. Put it back through here. Spin it. Oh yeah, it's nice. It's clean. Spins good. I mean, you guys can see that. Look how easy that spins. Not only there's, because this is ceramic, by the way. It's one of the reasons it does so well, and I've cleaned it some slip bearing oil. I won't let you guys watch the rest of it, but that's kind of what I do. And uh, once this is dry, we'll throw it all back together, and I'll show you guys what it looks like now. You saw how it looked before. Something else I want to show you guys. Anytime you put, when you're putting building a kit or whatever you're doing, when you're putting screws into anything that is metal, it needs to, you need to have Loctite on it. Blue Loctite is what, is what uh, everyone uses. It'll be just fine. So, and not a lot. Like I'll show you just a little bit. Like say that a little bit, even that may be a little much. Dab a little bit of that off, like that. Just a little bit, anytime. Anytime you're putting screws into metal Loctite. If you're going into plastic, I wouldn't worry about it. But if you're going into, if you're going into, uh, metal need to be locked tight in it all right that's nice and tight got it all back together look at that so easy that spins i'm telling you guys this slip bearing oil is amazing now i wouldn't put that slip bearing oil on anything you're gonna run like outside because it's not it's real liquidy oh yeah look at that that is insane now remember before the play we had no more. You can see the inserts not moving anymore. Remember that insert right there? Not moving. Can't see it moving at all. Boom. Yeah, just a little quick video. Maybe that'll help you guys. Thanks, guys. Like, comment, or subscribe.